India is taking quantum leaps towards dumping the One China policy, which is often paraded around by the CCP as a factor inhibiting the international community from growing excessive bilateral ties with Taiwan. India too was a silent party to the said policy, which as recently as 2019 clouded the geopolitical judgment of most. However, in 2020, India is rightly dumping this approach and embracing Taiwan. In a subtle message to China, two MPs of the ruling BJP, Manakshi Lekhi and Rahul Kaswan, attended the swearing-in ceremony of the Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen, who won her second term only recently. Tsai was sworn in for her second term on Wednesday and Lekhi and Kaswan were among 92 other dignitaries from 41 countries who virtually attended the ceremony. The two senior BJP MPs were accompanied by Sohang Sen, the acting director general of the India Taipei Association, an informal Indian mission in Taiwan. Most importantly, the two MPs in the joint congratulatory message to President Tsai did not shy away from using words like democracies and bilateral relations. They said, both India and Taiwan are democratic countries bonded by shared values of freedom, democracy, and respect for human rights. Over the past years, India and Taiwan have enhanced bilateral relations enormously in wide-ranging areas, especially trade, investment, and people-to-people -people exchanges. In a separate message, Manakshi Lekhi spoke about further strengthening the comprehensive relations between India and Taiwan. Inevitably, the Chinese Communist Party was irked by this, or rather outraged by the acceptance that Taiwan seems to be gaining as a sovereign country among the international community, and most importantly, from its neighbor, India, which China is currently trying to bully with heightened border aggression. The Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman told reporters, we hope and believe that they will understand and support the just cause of Chinese people to oppose the secessionist activities for Taiwan independence and realize national reunification. A counselor of the Embassy of the People's Republic of China in New Delhi also registered the CCP's protest against India's participation in the ceremony. He strongly urged the BJP parliamentarians to refrain from such acts and instead do good to support China's great cause of unification. Clearly, China has been rattled by what India is up to right now. Interestingly, in 2016, the Modi government had pulled out from President Tsai Ing-wen's swearing-in ceremony at the very last moment, perhaps not wanting to irk China back then. However, Modi 2.0 is quite different. In a clear departure from our earlier reluctance to openly be seen inclining with Taiwan, lest India be seen working in contrast to the One China policy, PM Modi has now taken the bull by its horns and decided to go all out in recognizing Taiwan as a nation which is separate from China. To say that PM Modi in his previous tenure was completely indifferent towards the existence of Taiwan as an independent country would also be a wrong assessment. Taiwan invested $360 million in 2018 in India through its companies, an increase of 12 times over what it invested in 2016. Meanwhile, India-Taiwan bilateral trade volume grew by six times from $1 billion in 2000 to $7.5 billion in 2019. Only recently, in the backdrop of the COVID-19 pandemic, certain Chinese companies at the behest of their political masters had signaled that they would not shy away from hostile takeovers of Indian companies. This prompted an unprecedented counteraction by the Modi government, which banned direct access for Chinese companies to Indian markets and made it mandatory for such companies to get government approvals for foreign direct investments and foreign portfolio investments in India. However, Taiwan was exempted from the same, which came as a bold statement from the Modi government that China and Taiwan are not one and shall be treated as separate entities by India. Effectively, India seems to have trashed the much-touted One China policy and is finally growing warm ties with Taiwan, which is currently under the rule of President Tsai Ing-wen, a vocal and fearless critic of China's repeated attempts at illegally annexing Taiwan and replicating the Hong Kong model of one country, two systems.